Death from radiation is not the fast one. Normally, only those in epicenter die quickly. All the rest go through the acute radiation syndrome with all the painful symptoms. The skin slowly falling off, the rotting organs, etc. But even if you're lucky enough and live thousands of kilometers away, the radiation will get you as numerous cancer diseases. This is why when Russian occupiers capture one of the biggest European nuclear power plants in Zaporizhia, it is a dangerous event. This is why why when they start blowing up some of its facilities, it's already a red alert for Europe. Not discussion time, but action. United Nations General Secretary Antonio Guterres is negotiating with IAEA about the visit of the inspectors to the Parisian nuclear power plant. The news about the negotiations appeared simultaneously with the statement of the Russian General Vasilyev. We mined all the important objects of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, and we do not hide this from Ukraine. It will be either Russian land or scorched earth. If there is a most severe order, we must fulfill it with honor. There are several mistakes in this statement. There is not much difference between Russian land and scorched earth. And how can Russians fulfill anything with their honor if there is nobody to rape or rob? Nevertheless, the situation went back to the February 2022, when the occupiers seized Chernobyl and Zaporizhia power plants, and the world was just choosing popcorn. Then we all were lucky enough to live five more months. Will we be further on? I spoke today with the president of the European Council, Charles Michel. I informed him about the situation in the battlefield about the threat that Russia created by striking at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. There is no such nation in the world that can feel safe when a terrorist state fires at a nuclear power plant. God forbid if something irreparable happens, no one will stop the wind that will spread the radioactive contamination. Therefore, a principled response of the international community to these Russian attacks on the Zaporizhia NPP, the largest in Europe, is needed right now. Russians on a nuclear power plant is like Boko Harum on children's birthday. Communists at heart, they hate everything different from this retarded regime. And at the same time, their weapons are so old that after half year of war, there can be no talks about accurate detonations or strikes. They have already damaged nitrogen oxygen station. From all power transmission lines, there is only one working. In case it stops, the IAEA inspectors would probably be possible to receive the data about damage just from air. Any attack to a nuclear plant is a suicidal thing and I hope that uh, those attacks uh, will end and at the same time I hope that uh, the IAEA will be able uh, to uh, have access uh, to the plant and uh, to exercise uh, its mandate competencies. But even if the inspectors are allowed to enter the station, what will happen if they find out that something is wrong? Nobody knows. The whole world deals with the barbaric tribes, which suddenly are 140 million people. Their politicians threaten German journalists with murder and seize of Berlin. Their propagandists every day declare war to a new country. Their authorities are lying, coward, incompetent tribal rulers. The problem is that instead of beads, they want to destroy this world. And the only thing international organizations can have to oppose is some rhetoric speech about pink unicorns. We are moving backwards in relation to disarmament. We have now 13,000 nuclear bombs in the world and uh, uh, we are seeing uh, huge investments in modernizing nuclear arsenals. So this is the moment to say stop it. That the billions that are being used in uh, 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 this arms race uh, need to be used fighting climate change, fighting poverty, uh, addressing the needs uh, of uh, uh, the international community. Meanwhile, fallen in grain blackmail, Russians use nuclear blackmail. They want people to be afraid of them so much that they don't remember why they want it. Degradative processes are so widespread there that after the war they will be shocked about how much civilization has changed after the Lenin times. And the world might see that if we stay alive.